everyone. It's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Sorry, I'm having to do my video a little bit different today. Um, you guys know I occasionally have a hacker issue. Well, heck, occasionally would be a lie. Um, and I'm not going to lie to my audience. So, I'm just going to make this a quick 15 minute video or 14 minute video. Everybody can put it on both platforms. Um, hackers suck and I deal with it. But, okay. So, here's what I want to show you. They wasted a whole 30 minutes of me pinning this together and telling some uh, very nice and positive powwow stories. Uh, but you know what? I positively am not going to let that stop me from showing you what I have got done so far. Because you guys know I am in. See, I have to fix something at this end of it now. Um, there we go. That should be good. Anyway, um, so I was saying, you know, I'm not going to let it stop me. And we just keep going forward, right? So, I got this cut out. I have the liner on it so that, you know, people don't get all dizzy. And I'm going to use this piece as the front panel. And so what I'm going to do is because I am, I have decided on this, this is my fabric mark fabric that I got for their challenge. It's absolutely beautiful. It's pre-printed on there and I love that. So I got three um, sleeve pieces, which I think the sleeving is really cool, right? Because you can make this a long sleeve you can make this a quarter sleeve, or you can even make it a cap sleeve, or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do with the sleeve. But now, like, here's my take. I have three of these, and then I also have three of the printed pattern body pieces. So, with the second body piece, I'm actually going to knock out a second garment. It's all good. And by the way, Fabric Mark, thank you for this challenge. This is going to be so simple for me. Um, so simple. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is, since I already have this pinned, we're going to skid this down here. Hope everything holds. Because I'm just going to cut this and show you guys I needed to cut this anyway whatever they didn't really stop me so um if you keep it up like this where the stripes are up like and you're looking down at that you're gonna get dizzy so here's my suggestion turn it the other way <laughs> so you're not getting dizzy um, I started to get a little dizzy looking at this facing this way but when you have a pre-print like this lay it face down so you, you're not getting dizzy looking at the pattern it's no big deal it's all right because you can see it through the sheer fabric so let me go ahead and just like turn it this way Right. Go ahead and just turn it this way. That way I have it where like you can see and sorry for that dark edge. I really have to get a new um cover for my phone screen. And this is the dark edge coming over. It's not negative energy, people. If it was, it's paranormal. I would like to know what's normal. Yeah, what is normal? Can we talk about that? What is considered normal? I really don't think there is a normal. To tell you the truth. Um, 
like I was discussing in earlier's video that I was trying to do, um, all this crap that we're going through right now, you can literally fit 10 of the virus strands on the very tip, sharp end of a sewing pin. Of a sewing pin. So, should we panic? No, stop panicking. It's, it's not that serious. Ebola and anthrax are bigger strands than what we're dealing with. The president even announced that Ebola, <laughs> I think the World Health Organization got pissed at him for telling the truth. It was like, Mr. President, you can't be telling that. Fuck it, I'm telling America the truth. Um... <laughs> And, uh, you know, then also in the video, I was trying to uh, tell you guys a few powwow stories. They're, they're a little bit emotional. I'm still a little sniffly after telling them. You're like, eh. <laughs> I did cry. Because I just like beautiful stories. Um, how many minutes? Oh! like six minutes then okay um so basically what i'm gonna do is you have this now see the other thing that you could do with the, one of the pocket pieces is turn it into a bib garment but what am i gonna do with this i'm literally going to take it like this Leave the rounded part the way it is because I'm leaving that like that. But I will take this part of it up probably to about there because I am going to make me a kangaroo pocket for this garment. And this is a very simple, easy way to do this with this piece because you can literally fold this in on itself if that makes any sewing sense to you match up your lines as much as possible but you don't really have to I just am because well that's just me and my OCD me and OCD there you go um so yeah I am gonna do that Let me do that this way there we go. Um, and then when I have that done on both sides, um, I'll be back for that. First, I got to come over here and pause. Um, yeah, so let me pause this. And now that we're done being paused and I'm walking back over. <laughs> Oh, we shall continue. So I have both sides pinned down and obviously that's going to come over my camera. So we're going to make this like a little shorter. Um, so uh, basically this part will be like from here down. It's not going to be a very big kangaroo pocket. Just enough to like, you know, slide a phone in there or if you uh, want to... Uh, Put whatever you need in there, your sunglasses, whatever's light, pop them in that pocket and just go. Yeah, that's really coming over my camera. This is kind of funny in a way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to sew it to this. That's the first thing I'm going to First thing I am going to do after I sew the pocket together. Now, sewing this pocket together is very essential and why you want to make sure it's stable <laughs> and that seriously is coming over my camera no it's not dark shadows but the shadow knows so let me get that off of there because it looks creepy <laughs> Actually, I hope that helps a little bit. So we're just going to finish up this part by saying, 
you know that this pocket here will be sewn. Why is there hair on the table? My hair falls out due to my medicine. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't stop me. Um, so basically, pretend this is the right side up. And um, then the pocket will just be sewn below the bust. And uh, pull this up here a little further for you. But I know you get the idea. Um, so it'll basically be right about here. And I think that's just going to be a cute pocket on this. And I think it'll be quick, easy, stylish for what this is going for. And it'll be great for summer. Uh, maybe even a spring look. We have no idea what spring next year is going to be like, right? Um, and hopefully everybody can just like start going back outside. Go sit on your deck. Go sit in your yard. You don't need a mask for that. This is going to slide right back over my camera. Um, it's kind of funny. So uh, I can't give you like my powwow stories like I did earlier. We'll do that in a different video. But until then, now you pretty much know how this is going to lay out. And then I will sew the other side after I sew the lining in. And sew this pocket on the front. Not, not the inside, but the outside. But I just wanted to give you guys a good referenced idea on how I'm going to do this. And um, will it need the interfacing? Probably not because I don't really plan on putting a lot in that pocket. I do have this for backing, and I'm going to stitch it onto the lining as well, absolutely. Before my camera gets covered, <laughs> I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, because the rest of this will be done soon. So until then, aho.